Well, we're joined now uh, from his count in uh, Bethnal Green and Bow by George Galloway. Mr Galloway, are you proud of having got rid of one of the very few black women in Parliament? What a preposterous question. I know it's very late in the night, but wouldn't you be better by starting by congratulating me for one of the most sensational election results in modern history? Are you proud of having got rid of one of the very few black women uh, in Parliament? I'm not, Jeremy, move on to your next question. Well, you're not answering that one. No, because I don't believe that people get elected because of the colour of their skin. I believe people get elected because of their record and because of their policies. So Please. move on to your next question. Are you because proud? Because I've got a lot of people who want to speak to me. Uh, you if, you ask that, if you ask that question again, I'm going. I warn you now. Don't try and threaten me, Mr. Galloway, you're please. The one who, you're the one who's trying to badger me. I'm not now, trying to badger you. I'm merely asking I've whether you're got, proud of having, having driven out of Parliament one of the very few black women there, a woman you accused of having on her conscience the deaths of 100,000 people. Oh, well, there's no doubt about that one. There's absolutely no doubt that all those new Labour MPs who voted for Mr. Blair and Mr. Bush's war have on their hands the blood of a hundred thousand people in Iraq, many of them British soldiers, many of them American soldiers, most of them Iraqis, and that's a more uh, important issue absolutely. than and the colour of went, her skin. Uh, yes, because you. you then went on to say, including a lot of women who had blacker faces than her. Absolutely right, absolutely right. So don't try and uh, tell me that I should feel guilty about one of the most sensational election results in modern electoral history because I the person I defeated is a woman I put you, Mr. Galloway, that Nick Rainsford had you to a T when he said you were a demagogue. I'm sorry? Nick Rainsford. You know who I mean? Nick Rainsford, Labour I don't, MP? No, no, I don't you've know. You've never heard of him? I've never heard of Nick Rainsford, no. What else haven't you heard of? <laughs> well, I've been in Parliament a he long time. He was a parliamentary colleague of yours until well, very recently. M most of them just blend one into the other, Jeremy. They're, 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 they're largely a spineless, a supine bunch. Have you ever and, heard uh, of Tony Banks? Yes, I have, yes. Right, Tony Banks was sitting here five minutes ago and he said that you were behaving inexcusably. You had deliberately well, chosen to go to that part of London and to exploit the latent racial tensions there. Well, you are actually conducting one of the most, even by your standards, one of the most absurd interviews I have ever participated in. I have just won an election. Can you find it within yourself? to recognize that fact, to recognize the fact that the people of Bethnal Green and Bow chose me this evening. Oh, we uh, recognize you, uh, Why are you insulting them? I'm, why not, are you insulting ins I'm them? not insulting them, yes, I'm not are. insulting you. You are insulting them. They chose me just a few minutes ago. Can't you find it within yourself even to congratulate me on this victory? Congratulations, Mr. Thank Galloway. You very much How indeed. do you propose to Thank use you your time in... Oh, I see, it's oh, another no. occasion of you not no, wanting no, to talk no, to no. someone who doesn't no, agree no, with no, you. No. Actually, Jeremy... All right. It's too, it's David Lammy, what do you make of Mr. Galloway? I think he's a carpetbagger who came down from Scotland to whip up racial tension in Tower Hamlets. And I think the sad thing for Tower Hamlets is it's the poorest constituency in London. And he has inherited now sure. the most divided and polarised But he has got a point when he says there were a very large number of people, a majority as it turned out, who took his view of the Iraq war as opposed to Una King's very loyal view of the Iraq war. I accept that across the country, in some constituencies in London and the South East, people have protested against the Iraq war. The manner in which he won that seat, whipping up racial tension, dividing some of the poorest people in this country, I think was obscene. And I'm deeply sad that Tower Hamlets has lost in Una King, an MP who actually did the work on the ground in her surgeries for those poor people.